so I really enjoy hex grid maps. For some reason, there's something about a hexagon that I really dig when it's being used in an RPG uh, or in a board game. So when Steve Jackson Games emailed me and said, hey, Doug, we'd love to have you take a look at the fantasy trip uh, that we put out, uh, I was really excited. I couldn't wait. I, I thought that this would be super awesome. And what I didn't anticipate, though, was this huge, massive 25-pound box showing up on my doorstep this is the I want it all box from Steve Jackson games let me unbox it for you and show you what's inside it because I'm really excited to see what's in here All right, uh, if you'd like more content like this, I'm going to tell you to hit the subscribe button down below uh, and also hit that little bell and you'll be notified every single time we put more content on the show. Also, um, if you are a fan of the fantasy trip, hit the little thumbs up icon down there. Let folks know about the fantasy trip. It's been around for a while, but they're finally putting out new, new uh, products for it uh, because Steve got the uh, license back, I think back in 2017, which really wasn't all that uh, long ago so even though it's been out for a while new content is on the way from steve jackson games and uh yeah hopefully we'll be able to feature more of it now let's start unboxing this huge box of stuff i don't know how i'm gonna do this so uh let's let's put this all right i think i've set it up so you can see pretty much the majority of the box it's just a huge box to try to get it all in one shot so i apologize if it's cut off just a little bit but uh, you get the idea of just how massive this box is uh, this is not what I expect, was expecting at all, uh, but let's unbox it, see what's in here, and see what uh, what folks can get with the I Want It All uh, box for the Fancy Trip uh, on their uh, latest Kickstarter. It's ridiculous how much how big this is. All right, holy smoke! That was uh, kind of a little ordeal to get into, but as you can see, this looks packed full of stuff. Uh, let's just take a look. Of course, you got the little protective cardboard there we don't really need. Uh, we got some little portfolio folder things. Um, we got one that has this really cool uh, castle with some sort of... Looks like a looks like some sort of squid castle with, with a barbarian or something in front of it. It looks really cool. Uh, the art looks really great. And then we've got another one that is uh, like a whole adventuring party. Uh, this looks really, really awesome. This looks like it is from the uh, Legacy Edition box set. So we'll take a look at that. Then we've got some some charts and stuff on the back. We can open these up just a little bit if we want. Let's open these up a little bit. Okay, so just a standard you know folder, but uh, some really great stuff on the back. And uh, I think these are uh, charts and everything for Melee and Wizard, if I am not mistaken. So those are the two first items that uh, you get when you open the box. Let's also let's just keep going. Take a look what else is in here. Uh, we'll save this for, we'll go on to this side first and then go over to this side. Uh, let's see here. So we've got the Fantasy Trip Companion. So this is a companion book for the Fantasy Trip. It's 64 pages. It's uh, soft cover, and uh, it's got all sorts of different things inside of it to uh, expand your uh, Fantasy Trip game. So yeah, very cool. Nice. I like it. Uh, let's just keep diving right in. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is in the Labyrinth. I believe this is the yes this is exactly what i was hoping that uh, would be in here uh this is the rpg that they developed based on two of the two mini games that steve put out uh, wizard and melee um there were actually advanced melee and advanced wizard and then they expanded upon those even further and put out in the labyrinth which is a, which is a full-blown rpg system which this is a hardback cover of and it is awesome i love this um, i'm guessing that this right here is probably in here as well so this is uh, but i'm gonna guess that it is 
uh, soft cover, uh, not hard cover like this one, which is awesome because if you're anything like me, you love having a soft cover edition of a book and a hard cover edition because the hard cover edition stays uh, in like your library and then the soft cover is the one that you bring to the table and you play with and everything. So this is something that I really, really dig uh, right away is uh, the hardcover version of In the Labyrinth. So this is 176 pages. Uh, the last few pages, of course, are the index, but uh, some really great, great black and white, old school RPG illustrations in here. So yeah, this is a this is a really cool book. I, I'm so excited that this is this is in here because I am a big fan of having a hardcover uh, copy of a book when you have an RPG system. So. Awesome, Steve Jackson games, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now let's uh, let's just keep going down a few more layers. What is this craziness? Okay, so this right here is a whole other box. I don't know what this box is. Let's open it up and find out. Ah, Ooh, just got a got a little paper cut. Thanks. Okay, so this is. Uh, a pocket edition of the original games that Steve Jackson created back in the uh, late 70s and early 80s uh, called Melee and Wizard. And this is really, really awesome because it comes in that little, little plastic uh, case. So you can just kind of tuck it in your pocket. And this is awesome. Let's open this up and see what's in here. Uh, but it says, two complete games in one box. All right, so let's open this up, and you've got some D6s right there. These are fairly small, um, but, you know, it's it's a pocket game, so you want them fairly small and like that. Uh, you get another little baggie. Uh, you get the rules for melee. Awesome. You get the rules for wizard. Awesome. You get this little wizard reference uh, page is a uh, little like kind of a little leaflet too. So that's cool. And then you get these. Holy smoke! For a pocket game, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, you get the really cool fold out. This is what I really dig. Uh, these hex maps for melee and wizard. Uh, they're not very not very big. They're like uh, it's probably what 18 inches, but uh, that's really cool. And you get this is this one looks a little bit bigger this one's like more square but you get one for wizard as well so this just kind of folds right up goes right in the box which is cool and then you also get all these punch out tokens for the game oh look at that there's a really cool dragon right there that's awesome so and i know this is available in all this stuff i think is pretty much available in retail but uh, you can get it all in one shot with this I Want It All box, which is amazing. This would be perfect to uh, like bring to like a convention or just like a friend's house and you just plug it in your backpack and go wherever. Awesome. Love it. I love that they have like this old school callback to uh, the fancy trip from what it was years ago. Anyway, so that's in the box as well. Um... I'm not really sure why they put it in this big box, but that's beside the point. We'll just kind of, unless maybe you can use this box for something. Oh, there is a cool box on the back. And it tells you why they include it. Duh, I should have just waited. Uh, fill this box with all the adventures, alters, altercations, apothecaries, amers. It, pretty much, you want to put all of your tokens and everything in this box and keep them all in one, one spot. I love it. Now I see why you included it, Steve Jackson Games. Dig it, dig it, dig it. I'm still going to wait off on this just yet because, yep, this is what I thought. There's something over here. I told you this whole box is just filled to the brim with the fancy trip. So this is one thing that I really, really dig. These neoprene. Oh, my God, these are beautiful. Look at this. We've got Wizard Map. It's got like the little pits and everything in it. 
Love it, love it, love it. Um, I think this is awesome. Then there's another one for Melee, which is a little bit smaller, as you can see. It's probably uh, it's probably like two thirds the size, but again, it has little maps and everything, little entrances on both sides. Awesome! I dig it so much. I, I think this is such a great, uh, great item to have for uh, the fancy trip. The majority of the weight is uh, this box right here, the fancy trip legacy edition. This is what the Kickstarter went crazy for. This right here is. It's, what, like 15 pounds, probably? Yeah, it's got to be at least 15 pounds uh, of that box, and that box was like 25 pounds. Let's open this box up. I'm going to show you what's in the Fantasy Trip Legacy Edition box. All right, let's open this up. Look at that. Even inside the box, you've got a random labyrinth drop table. There is like not any square inch of this uh, box that's not something to do with the fantasy trip. I dig this so much. So the first thing that you see when you open this up is uh, the read this first little paper from uh, Steve Jackson. It kind of explains all the contents in there. Um, just kind of tells you the overview really cool it says thanks for your support um, yeah there's some erasable character cards in here oh I can't wait I'm not even gonna read this because it's gonna give it's gonna give stuff away I don't wanna I don't want to give stuff away okay right off the bat look at this it's like filled right to the broom pretty much so these are the two games that started out we have melee and wizard these are the new additions that uh, Steve was able to publish now that he has the rights back to the fantasy trip you get a copy of melee and wizard the new editions which is awesome you get more advanced uh, games than the pocket version that we unboxed earlier awesome love it you also get this uh fantasy trip death test this is uh, some programmed adventures for Melee and Wizard. So if you want some adventures for those games, uh, this is the supplement you want to get. It's got uh, Death Test and Death Test 2 in it. Uh, these are just adventures that you can play with uh, Melee and Wizard. Our friend Rick Hershey did the color and interior illustrations. Very cool. Rick, I love this stuff, man. did a great job. I wonder if Rick did... The art on these. So Rick did not do the uh, illustrations for this game, but for Wizard, it says the interior illustrations are done by Rick Hershey. So Rick, killing it with this fancy strip, man. Uh, so you get these really cool blue and red marbleized D6s, uh, one for Wizard, one for Melee. Um, yeah, nice little perk for, for having those in the box. So we got some pads of character sheets for Wizard. You've got talents and spells and everything right there. And then you also have some character pads for uh, melee. So these are pre-made fighter cards. So if you don't want to create a character, you can just draw uh, a card for each and uh, fight. So it makes picking up this game even simpler. Very cool. We've got this really cool folio here that uh, looks kind of like dragon scale to keep all your, your paperwork in. I like that. Uh, we've got some some more maps. I, I just love hex grid maps. They're just they're they're my jam. I, I like it. Uh, but this is uh, a poster map for uh, the fantasy trip. So really digging that. Uh, I really think that's really cool. Um, I love when uh, RPG systems have these, and then you can kind of afterwards you can just kind of display them. So we've got this really awesome GM screen that uh, comes in it look at this i love this illustration right here uh but yeah it's got of course it's got the uh illustration that was on the folio oh my word it's actually bigger than i thought it's four panels it's got all sorts of tables and charts in here so everything's like quick reference i love it when systems have a gm screen that is super handy uh, as well as just a really cool screen 
uh, some character record sheets for the fantasy trip. Oh, and then it's got, look at that, that is wicked, wicked awesome. It's got a really cool hex map on the back with all these different levels. Very awesome. We also have Tolankar's Lair in here, which, uh, let's open this up and see what this is. I think our friend Rick Hershey also did the art for this as well. So let's let's just take a look because I want to open it and see. Yeah, I'm sure he's probably credited on the back. So you got a little flyer of some maps, and then on the back, you've got, oh, very cool, like, pre-gens, I guess. Oh, yep, illustrated by Rick Hershey. So that was in there. This looks like it's, a, it's an adventure for a fancy chip. And, yes, this is exactly what I was thinking. Soft cover, because... You know, this is the book you're going to bring to the table. This is um, this is the one that you're going to reference all the time. I love the fact that they put a hard cover and a soft cover in this book, in this whole I Want It All box. Just because, like I said, I like to keep my hard covers in my quote-unquote RPG library and then have this for uh, actual playing with. So dig it, dig it, dig it. I think Steve Jackson and Steve Jackson Games just totally hit it out of the park with putting the products that folks uh, dig in this box. Uh, I'm so excited. This whole thing has been like box after box after box of stuff, and it's just awesome. Ooh. So we've got tokens. We've got hex uh, tokens for maps, and I love this dragon uh, token that uh, they have. This thing is massive. So, yeah, just of stuff in this box so that's everything that is in the i want it all box from steve jackson games for the fantasy trip crazy crazy amount of stuff in there um that's amazing uh so i'm going to tell you if you are interested in any of this at all go check out the kickstarter i'll put a link in the description of this video and this system is a d6 based because you saw the d6s in there super easy to pick up super easy to play uh if you want to play it solo you can play it as like a standard rpg you can if you just want to play it one versus one you can do it that way too with melee and wizard it's a really cool system and a lot of people really really love it i love it now because there's just so much you can do with it and i think it's really really awesome that uh steve was able to get the rights back to this this game and put more product out for it and kind of pick up where he left off uh, I love that when designers can can kind of go back to an existing game that they that they uh, put out, and because you know designers kind of uh, develop in time over time, and so you know a game that they put out five ten years ago, or in this case even longer than that, they're so much more advanced in game design than they were when they put that game out. So to be able to go back and just expand upon a game that they really loved and they kind of felt like needed more to it is really, really awesome. And I'm so happy that Steve was able to do that. Um, and the folks at Steve Jackson Games uh, have this product line now. So if you are a fan of the Fancy Trip, put a comment below. Let me know. Uh, tell me what games that you started out with. Was it Melee? Was it Wizard? Was it melee advance wizard advance or was it the fancy trip or was it in in the labyrinth or did you just back the new kickstarter that came out uh, a little while ago and get into it that way let me know in the comments so thank you for watching this video thank you to steve jackson games for sending this big box of uh the fancy trip goodness to us and uh letting us play it and uh, we're going to definitely show it off a little bit more uh a little later down the road and probably we'll bring it to, to some conventions and and uh and we might even feature it on our twitch channel so for now, this has been Victory Condition Gaming because winning shouldn't be the only Victory Condition when you get to the table. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.